Hello and welcome back to the PHP 101 Beginners Course. Uh, in this episode, what we're going to talk about is what are the most useful things in the programming languages. And that is an array. An array is uh, a collection of data. And you're going to find yourself using arrays all the time. So I think it's easiest just to jump in and kind of start working with arrays so that you understand what they are. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up uh, your your pr uh, project here in Atom or whatever text editor you're using and make sure your uh, servers are running so if you just go to localhost forward slash then your project name in my case it was PHP if it works then your servers are running if not go ahead and launch the exit manager and uh, go ahead and start the servers so we're going to create a new file in our scripts directory and let's just call it arrays.php and then in this file we're going to open up our PHP tags and go down a few lines and close it. Now an array um, is simply uh, a collection of data. So let me show you what I mean. I can create a variable and I'm going to call it favorite colors. And then I can set that equal to and open and close square braces and that is how we create an array. Now right now this array is what we call empty. This is an empty array. It has nothing in it. But this is an array and what we could do with an array is make a list. So my favorite colors could be red, blue, orange, and one more. Let's just say brown. Okay. So, if my favorite colors are red, blue, orange, and brown, um, this is a collection that's all stored in an array, and this array is set in memory to this variable called favorite colors. Now, we can access this array later on and in our code once we've set this up. And so, what we can do is say, um, if I say I want to print to the screen that my favorite color is red, the way that I would access that is with the key. Now let's talk about keys. An array, um, the keys are numbered. And so what happens in an array key is it looks like this. This is the zero, the zeroth index, or the key is zero, but it's the index of zero. This would be the index of one. This would be the index of 2, and this would be the index of 3. Computers start counting at 0, so remember that. If you try to access this by the key of 1, or the index of 1, um, you're not going to get red, you will get blue instead. Let me show you what I mean. If I echo favorite colors, and uh, the way that we do that is we open and close the square braces, and let's just put a 1 there, okay? So what we expect is this is just going to echo the word blue, okay? Because I put the, the index as 1. So let's go back here and let's navigate to our scripts directory and then to arrays. And that was arrays.php. And we can see that we just got blue. If I were to change this to 0, I should get red now, just like that. So what, we're, what I want to do is let's just, um, let's concatenate on a break tag. Um, and I'm going to copy this line a couple times. And I just want to put these in here, these keys so that you can see what's printed to the screen at 0, 1, 2, and 3. There is no uh, fourth index in this, so there's no index of 4, um, which would actually be the fifth element in the array. So remember, computers start with zeros. That's probably the hardest thing to remember about arrays when you first start, is that this list starts with 0 when you want to access it. Okay. So the way we access an array is we, um, we call the array right here, and then we give it the opening and closing braces and then the key or index inside of that. So let's refresh the page now and what we're going to get is red, blue, orange. And I have red again. 
And that's because this says zero, so let's change that to three. And refresh. So now it's red, blue, orange, and brown. Perfect. Um, we can also add to our, an array. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this. We could do um, favorite colors, um, and then we could say uh, four, and say equal to, um, let's say white. It's not really a color, so let's make it more interesting, like purple. Okay, and then if we var dump, a var dump is a way for us to print our array to the screen. So we can var dump favorite colors, save that and refresh. And now what we can see is that we have red, blue, orange, and brown. And then this is our var dumped array. It shows us that it's an array. Then this next part of this var dump tells us that it is five uh, elements. There are five elements in this array. And so they start with zero. So the zeroth index is red. It tells us that the data in that is a string with three characters, but it, that it's red. And we'll get to the data in a second. But if you look over here, the last one in here is purple. So this has actually been added to our, our array. Um, there's another way to add to an array. And that if you don't know what the next key is, you can simply say favorite colors. And then you could say just an open index like that. And we'll just say another color of pink. Sure, why not? If I do that and then I var dump again, and let me just go ahead and throw a break in there too. Um, so let's, um, after this var dump, let's go ahead and echo a break tag here. And let's refresh the page. So now we can see that we have six elements in the array um, because we added one in this manner here. There's a few more ways that to add um, to, the, to an array. Um, there's a function called array unshift. And if we, um, let's see, if we do an array unshift, uh, what we can do is add to the beginning of the array. So what we're going to say, we're going to pass in the array, so it's favorite colors. The next thing that we're going to do is pass in what, we're, what we need to add to it. So if I want to add at the beginning of this a new color, let's say green, and then I var dump, let's go ahead and echo an, uh, a break tag, and then after we do this array unshift, and I'm going to put a comment here, uh, unshift at prepends one or more elements to an array. So now uh, when we var dump this, I'm just going to copy both these lines here. When we var dump both of these, we're actually going to see that red is no longer the first element in our array, but it's green. So now we, our zeroth index will be green, the first index will be red, and so it just shifts everything down. Um, the other thing that we can do is let's try array shift. Okay, so this one, um, what we're going to do is just pass in favorite colors. And I'm going to copy this. And now what's going to happen if we var dump that array is uh, we have removed green because shift shifts every uh, shifts an uh, element off the beginning of array. Okay, there are a few others, but I think this is good enough to get you started with arrays. Um, there is um, we could we can do a couple more if you want. Um, there's array uh, pop, and what this does is this will take. Um, and uh, just like shift takes one off the end, so let's see, shift 
removes the element at the beginning of an array and pop will remove the element at the end of an array and you may be asking yourself okay this is cool and everything but what why would I ever use this trust me as you get into programming you're gonna find that yourself using arrays all the time I it's very rare that I do any programming and don't end up using arrays arrays are gonna be one of the most important things in programming for you and we're gonna to get to some more important things pretty much everything's important because they're all tools in a toolbox that we can use but let's just go ahead and remove the last element of this array with array pop and we'll go ahead and var dump and echo a break after that and let's refresh and see what we have so now we're back down to five elements in the array and that you can see that it has removed pink off the end of this array. There's one more that I'll show you and it's real similar to both of these except for we're going to add to the end. So we're going to add to the end of an array and when we add to the end of the array we're going to use array uh, push. So we have unshift and shift which are uh, adding to and removing from the beginning and then we have pop and push which removes and adds to so if I add to favorite colors and now I want to add the color uh, magenta and then we will var dump and add a break tag there and what happens now is you can see that we have magenta so you can see that we have manipulated this array. Uh, there's a lot of other things that we'll do uh, with arrays. We're going to start talking about loops next, and we'll show you how you can loop through an array and do something with each element in there. Um, but I just wanted to show you what an array was. It's a, basically think of an array as a list of data. And in this example, we used all strings. But an array can be a list of mixed things as well. So I can say mixed array. And what we could do here is we can actually say um, we can actually say that the <clears throat> first element in this array could be a number, like 123. The next element in this could be a string. It could be my first name. The next element in this array could be um, a boolean, so it could be true. We can also do false. So you can store different data types. Uh, you can do floats and things like that inside of an array, and it can all be mixed like this. And so then what we can do is we can actually, um, let me just go ahead and copy all of this. And we will, we got 0, 1, 2, and 3. Um, I'm going to change this to mixed array. And we're, I'm just going to print to the screen so that you can see what, what happens when we print these. And then we'll do a, a var dump as well so that you can see what that looks like. You're going to have to get used to using var dumps to, to do a little bit of debugging and so that you can see what's inside of these arrays. There's also, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and copy that. And I'll var dump this. I'm going to var dump uh, mixed array. All right. And then we'll refresh. So now you can see that we have one, two, three, Curtis, one. Now, Booleans, you can't echo a Boolean. So that's why that didn't show up when we used the echo function there. Um, so just as a side note, um, we can't echo this, but we could do other things with those. Okay, uh, this turned out as one because if you echo true, that evaluates to one. Um, so I'm just going to remove these from this array because um, you can't echo those. Actually, you know what? I'm going to undo that and leave those, and then I'm just going to remove these two. We're not going to echo those, but we'll var dump the entire thing here so that you can see.
So you can see this array is uh, four elements long, and we have an integer, which is 123. We have a string of six characters, which is Curtis. We have a Boolean, uh, which is true. And the index of three, which is the fourth element in the array, is a Boolean, and it's set to false. So that's, a, that's what an array uh, is. And later we'll learn how why arrays are useful when we start using them, but it's important to know what an array is. One last note is that if you're using an older version of PHP, uh, you would have to define an array like this. So I'm going to say old array syntax equals, and then you would do array with open and closing parens. So you might see code that's written like this. And once it's in this uh, format, it's the same exact thing. So you can do 123, Curtis, true, and false. And this will work exactly like this. It's just a little cleaner syntax to use the square braces. Uh, and the newer PHP versions uh, did that. But if you see the word array with, uh, this is the exact same thing as this. It's just a, the older way of, of uh, creating an array. Okay guys, well, um, let's go ahead and add this to our website here so that we can see it. Um, so let's go here. We're just going to add it to our menu. So first let's go to our pages and to our template and let's duplicate that. And we're going to call that arrays.php and let's go ahead and change the header to arrays. Um, we'll put a description of um, arrays are lists of data. That's one way to think of it. They're just a package of data. Okay. And let's go and get the php.net uh, documentation for arrays. And we will replace that href right there with that. So you guys can get to that easily. And then this is arrays.php. And we're going to highlight the file arrays.php. Again, the results. Go ahead and put some notes here. And then uh, paste the, uh, the embed code from, from this uh, video right here in the video div. And let's go back now and let's refresh. And we're not there yet, we just need to add to the menu. So open up the menu.php file. Copy this last uh, list item here. And we're going to put arrays.php and arrays.php there. All right. There we go, now we have arrays and if we go there, uh, we can see our code and our results right there. And then we have a way to get to it from the PHP manual. In the next video, we're going to talk about another type of array. Um, there's about three different types of arrays. This one here is the simplest of the arrays. It's simply a list, and it's um, called an indexed array. Okay, in the next one, uh, video, we're going to talk about associative arrays. And I'll see you there.